Hi everyone! Hello! I'm excited to be with you here today and I am flipping through my layouts that I've completed so far in 2022. So I shared on Instagram today that I have completed 68 layouts so far this year. So I wanted to flip through some of those and show you some of the things I've done. So uh, many of these, if you follow me on Instagram, many of these you will have seen, um, but some of them you have not because some of them I haven't shared. So this is one I have shared and this one I made using um, a hip, hip kit club with lots of distress oxides and this is a stencil by Vicki Booten, this um, hexagon. No, actually this is a pear tree, pear tree cut file stencil. Um, so it's their, the big format 12 by 12 stencil. So that's what I used for that one and it's a picture of my sweet babies. Hopefully you can see it without too much glare. And then this is, that is either a Bramble Fox or Color Cast, I can't remember which one. I use lots of both of those. All right. This next one is a layout that I created um, for Bella Boulevard when I was on their design team earlier this year. So this is using the To The Moon collection. And I was capturing my little guy when he was in a tree, hanging out. He loves to do that. This is another uh, page I made using Hip Kit Club kits. So for this one, I think I combined several different kits and uh, use some of the embellishments. These are definitely um, Bramble Fox, and I've got some enamel dots and lots of Distress Oxide. It's a Tim Holtz stencil back here. Um, this is a scrapbook.com stencil, this little, this little square. And some threads and things there, super fun. This is another page I made for Bella Boulevard. This is using the You Are My Sunshine collection. And I love, this was a piece of pattern paper and I just cut the strips apart and put them in color order and then glued them down and added a bunch of stuff to the top of that. This is a fun one. <laughs> this is another Hip Kit Club kit uh, paper from one of the kits and embellishments. These were from a pattern paper, I think, that I fussy cut. And then the stencil on the background, hopefully you can see that. Um, that is a Vicki Booten stencil that I used. I think that's glimmer paste, or glacier paste, glacier paste. All right, this is a layout. Oh, I love this one um, that I made for pear tree cut files. So this was one of our design team challenges one month, maybe, in February maybe? can't remember. January or February maybe. Um, and so I background used uh, texture paste with distress oxides and a pear tree cut file stencil. So this is one of the it's like go holy or something. can't remember the name of it exactly um, but it's a cute one. And then this cut file was pear tree cut files and then I added lots of, hopefully you can see those, those are crystals and jewels from Buttons Galore and more. And then the paper collection, these are from Wonders, I think, um, Paige Evans flowers that I added bunches of um, hand stitching to. And then this is Paige Evans paper and embellishments too. I don't know, what, I can't remember which collection. There's some rub-ons there. Um, I wish I could remember which one, but I can't. All right, there's that one. This is another layout I made for Pear Tree Cut Files. So for this layout, this started out a white piece of paper and I used the bokeh technique. Vicki Booten had been sharing in her Friday Night Lives. Um, the bokeh effect with photography. And so we used mixed media and made backgrounds, or she did. And so then I went and did my own. Added some glimmer glimmer mist and distress oxides. There's lots of different stencils. Um, and then this is Wonderful Moments. This is a cut file from Pear Tree Cut Files. And I added some hand stitching there for the heart with a chain stitch. And then this is all uh, Vicki Booten Color Study, I think, is all of this paper, maybe. 
Oh, this is a fun one. So this one I made for uh, Pear Tree Cut Files, and this is when we were, I think it was Scrappy Happy Studio that we were partnering with. So this paper, um, we got the digital files, and so we were able to print them ourselves, and then printed some of the embellishments. And then this is a cut Pear Tree Cut Files uh, cut file, and I backed that with some of the paper. And then on the background. <laughs> kind of a hot mess there's lots of stuff going on in the background I loved it um so the stress oxide stamps stencils glimmer mist there's all kinds of stuff going back on back there and I had some pear tree pieces and some crystals it looks like from buttons galore all right this is another um, layout that I made for pear tree cut files with the same um paper it's a different collection, but the same company, Scrappy Happy Studio, when we were partnering with them. Um, and this was a beautiful collection. I love that. Hopefully you can see all the sparkle. So I added lots of crystals and um, sequins that I did knot stitches with and lots of, just, uh, lots of stuff going on in the background. So there's some inks, distress oxides, distress inks, maybe acrylic paint. I can't remember used for that one. I think it's acrylic paint. Pink acrylic paint. For some splatters. All right, and lots of fussy cutting. <laughs> I remember this one I did a lot. All these pieces are fussy cut. So they were printed on white paper and then I cut them out. It's a sweet picture of my family. Okay, this one. Oh, I love this. So this is a Simple Stories birthday bash, maybe, collection. I think birthday bash is what it's called. Um, and I used, this is a pear tree cut file, cut file, um, celebrate today. And then I used a pear tree stencil on the background with glimmer mist over distress oxides. This was a layout I made for Bella Boulevard. So this was with the graph and dot, um, graph and dot paper, pattern papers, and then also some to the moon thrown in there. The red, there's a larger pattern. Yeah, to the moon. That's all that. All right, and lots of glitter and pretty things on the background. Oh, I love this one. So this is surround yourself with people who feel like sunshine. It's definitely my babies. They feel like sunshine to me. So this was, this is a pear tree cut file. And then I used, um, this is hip kit, I think. Hip kit papers and embellishments that I fussy cut and placed around. Um, oh, and you know what? The paper is doodle bug, actually. Not mistaken, I think that's due to a paper right there. And then hand stitched. I think I made a stencil for this one. Yeah, I made my own stencil um, just with paper and then cut it on my Cricut on a paper and then used it to add my ink and then lots of hand stitching, knot stitches, um, and sewed in sequins. one is another one from earlier in the year from Bella for Bella Boulevard so this was using the besties collection and you are my sunshine looks like with lots of pretty embellishments and so on this one I cut little strips of paper and then made two layers where I just folded them over lightly and they've been sitting in this stack of layouts. I've got a whole, this was kind of at the bottom of the stack because it was from the beginning of the year um, and it still looks great. So that's awesome. Lots of hand stitching, knot stitches, sequins, and lots of little embellishments. And that's a sweet, these are sweet pictures from lockdown when we were trying to entertain the kids on lockdown. Um, okay, so this is a pocket page. I usually don't post pocket pages because they're so hard to photograph with the glare. Hopefully you can see um, so this is using the Monsters, I can't remember what it's called, Spella Boulevard um, paper, and then some other embellishments that I had in my stash, um, wooden embellishments, chipboard, lots of glitter and sequins, 
and this was to go with some Halloween layouts. I think they were actually, I did them before the end of the year. So I think this is, this might be the only Halloween uh, layout in the stack, but um, that's a fun one. All right, so here's another one. I made this one for um, Pear Tree Cut Files and I used, um, Lindy's. This is Lindy's Magicals. So, oh, and it's so super shiny. Uh, I love that. So I cut it in white. This, the start of something amazing. I cut the whole thing in white. Um, and then I cut another layer in white. And I did the top layer in um, Lindy's Magicals, like an aqua color. And then I did the second layer in pink. This was my baby's first haircut, my baby girl's first haircut, and I've got lots of things, some pear tree pieces, um, hearts that I cut out, um, wooden buttons, lots of pretty things there. And that's all, looks like Vicki Booten pattern papers. So this was this was a layout I did for Bella Boulevard, um, and it's using the, I think it's um, Let Us Adore Him collection. So I used distress oxides on the background in rainbow order, pattern paper, made a shaker pocket. You can see lots of stuff in there. <laughs> There's candy canes and Christmas trees and all kinds of sequins in there. Um, that one and then this page I made to go in the scrapbook in between so I never posted this one this is also Bella Boulevard um, and this uh, was using that same collection and I just did our my favorite things about Christmas Eve so this layout was a, about Christmas Eve and my journaling is about what we some of our Christmas Eve traditions and then I had two, I actually have two, another layout that's Christmas Eve. And so this goes in the middle in my book um, that I haven't put in yet because I haven't, I haven't put any of these in, but it's going to look really cute in there. And so I had family holding our candles high at Christmas Eve service, cornbread, silent night. So I used um, all the different, uh, some stickers and some embellishments in the shape of a Christmas tree to add some of that detail. And I love that. And then on the back I have... Um, just some pictures from Christmas Eve. Hopefully you can see that in the pocket. I would take it out and show you, but it's sewn in. <laughs> so I sewed it in here so you can't see that. Okay. Love this layout. So this was an Easter layout. I think I made just for fun. And this was, this background, this middle piece right here was a piece of white paper. And I used washi tape to mask it. And then I used um, dis Distress Oxide sprays and uh, Shimmer Mists when the washi tape was down. And then I took it up and then it left the white stripes. So lots of fun things there. And then these pieces I covered with embossing powder. So these were little embellishments from... I think hip kit. I wish I could remember exactly. <laughs> I've done so many, it's hard to remember. Um, I think that those came in one of our hip kits. And then I added the embossing powder. All right. This was another one, I think just for fun. So this is another Easter layout. It goes with the same, so these will go together in the book um, like that. So that is um, another Easter layout. This was using, I think, Coco Vanilla. The um, sun-kissed Coco Vanilla flowers. I think those, that's what those are. And then this one I really wanted to use. I've had this rainbow from Bramble Fox for a long time. And I wanted to use it on a layout. And it was perfect for this one. Got that, and then on the background, there's lots of um, distress oxides, distress inks, acrylic white acrylic paint. There's lots of crystals from Buttons Galore in the centers of the flowers. This is a Vicky Booten stencil, um, hexagon stencil. It's one of my favorites. You'll see it on lots of layouts because I love that stencil. 
All right, this is one I did for Chamel. So I did share this one. I actually created it um, right at the end of December. I think it was the last layout I did in December and then um, sent it over to her. So she featured lots of different artists on her blog, or she is featuring lots of different artists on her blog this year. And so she asked me to create something um, to share. And so this was my rainbow layout. So that was one of the categories that we could come create from. And of course, it's gonna be what I do every time. So this was using, I used a um, mermaid stencil and I don't even know the brand of it. It was one that I got at Michael's and it was a large stencil. And then I have a Tim Holtz, another stencil that I layered over it. So I've just recently done a couple of videos, I think where I've used two stencils. Um, so like where I have one down and then I use another one over it. So that's the same technique that I used here. And then I've got Distress Oxides and inks. The Distress inks are the splatters. Um, and then uh, crystals from Buttons Galore and then enamel dots, all kinds of fun things going on there. And this is an Echo Park collection. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but I know it was from Echo Park. And then these little mermaids were actually Chamel from one of her embellishment um, chipboard sheets. I love that. There's some page ovens, that butterflies page ovens. I got all kinds of stuff thrown in there. All right. This was a layout I did for um, Pear Tree Cut Files. And I love this cut file, Fun Times Together. So I actually cut it twice, so you can see I have a pink one layered behind. And then this, the middle word, I added acetate behind that, cut that with my Cricut. And then behind the acetate, I actually glued all of the sequins onto, hopefully you can see that. Um, I actually glued them onto the foundations paper. So. All of the paper that I'm using, I haven't mentioned that yet, all of this paper is foundations paper on the background. So I can add all kinds of wonderful things. You can see this one did do a little bit of warping. They hardly ever do that. Um, the only reason it did on this one is because I had lots and lots of layers of glue and sequins stacked up behind that because I wanted it to be like real fat and cool. So, um, but I matched all the inks. So I used all kinds of stamps close to my heart stamps. Um, I think that's a Vicki Booten from one of her collections maybe, or Paige Evans. I've got all kinds of stuff in there. So lots of different stamps and different things. Um, scrapbook, scrapbooks, scrapbook cards and magazines today, I think actually featured, like posted this one too um, after I had posted it. So this is all using Paige Evans. Uh, collection. These are my, this is from my favorite, her Go the Scenic Route, these butterflies are. These are my favorite butterflies of all time from any collection. Lots of fun stuff there. All right, this, oh, I love this one. It's so sparkly, hopefully you can see that. Um, so this one is using a pear tree cut file. Snow days are the best days. And I cut it with Cricut glitter paper and Cricut foil board. Um, and then had lots of distress oxides on the background, glimmer mist. Uh, these are hip kit, a lot of hip kit embellishments here. And then lots of crystals, all kinds of things. Love that one. And this was from a rare snow day. We don't get much snow in Texas, in Houston, Texas, but we had a freeze where it was very cold for lots of days. We lost power and all kinds of crazy stuff, water, we lost everything. Um, and then our house ended up flooding because <laughs> we had a pipe burst in four places. So this was the fun day right before all of the disaster struck. So this was really fun. And my babies are in real snow, which is super cool. And then this layout is another um, layout I did for lockdown. I think I made this one just for fun using, um, I've got some, these are Paige Evans flowers for sure. And then I think I've just got some random different pattern papers that I collected just because of the colors. I loved the colors on there and I used lots of stamping and ink again in the background. Lots and lots of layers of stamps and ink. And then I cut little squares, I think they're one inch squares, um, and distressed those and turned them diagonally. I love these pictures of my baby girl. This is another lockdown lockdown 
2.0. All right. Okay, so let me get the next stack. Okay, here we go. So this is a layout that I made for Pear Tree. And it is using the um, new Splendid Clay. This was my first layout that I made with Splendid. I love Splendid because I love all of the bright, beautiful, happy colors. So this Magical Memories is a Pear Tree Cut file. And then I used um, this patterned paper across the middle. This is one sheet of paper back here in the background. And I just cut it a little bit and rolled it up. So it's pretty on the front and the back. Um, you can see it's black and white on the back. And I rolled it up at different levels and then put the distress oxides that match in the background. And then I did my flowers going in the same order of colors. And then the memories here, that's distress oxides. So I matched the inks to the color like that in the row where they were. You can see, I don't know if you noticed that when I posted it, but that's kind of what I did um, to pick the colors for the, for the title. Right. so this is another um, page for pear tree I think so sweet treat and that, that's a pear tree cut file and I used I am trying to remember um, I think it's simple stories definitely simple stories and the name of the collection is summer days maybe I think it's summer days so this, I used a pattern paper. I rarely do that. You can see um, that it did, it is a little bit curled up, but it won't, not too bad. And it won't matter once it's in the book because you won't ever notice that. Um, but I did put a lot of gesso in the middle, just in a circle. And then I added lots of inks on top of the gesso. So the gesso, some people use a lot of gesso on their backgrounds. I usually don't because the inks dry. If you can kind of notice, the vividness, so like of this pink, this is the same pink. So it's um, picked raspberry. So here it is on foundations with no gesso and it's bold and bright. And here it's kind of pastel-y. So when you put um, that ink over gesso, it dries lighter, which is really pretty with this layout. I loved how it looked here, um, but I typically want it to be a more bold, more bold color. So. Um, but I ended up loving how it looked here with the cut file and the papers, beautiful patterned papers. So that was a fun layout. This is another one for um, Pear Tree. And this is from some of these last few layouts have been from our trip to Key West. It's when I started that trip. These are not in the order I made them, by the way. They're just in some random, I took them off the shelf and just put them in three stacks. So. Um, that's how they're how they're laid out here. So this is um, Distress Oxide on the background and I actually just took the ink pad and swiped it across and added water. That's how easy that was. And then I went back and added some thread um, for some hand stitching there in between each layer of color. And I think this is Vicki Booten pattern paper. Or Paige Evans maybe. Can't remember, but super cute. All right, this was the first layout I made for Fancy Pants Design Team this summer. I'm super excited to join that. So I made this in June, and this is also from our Key West trip. So I used the Summer Days collection and uh, have lots of beautiful patterned papers here and. Um, used border, a border punch to punch those out and then did just strips of the white uh, white and red stars. And then my photos, I have five photos on there, cut in circles. And that was a super fun layout. This one is my second layout with the Splendid Collection. So this one was one I just made for fun. I love, it's one of my favorite photos I've ever, ever, ever taken of my babies. Um, so bacon and bacon bit uh, two of our good friends made this for these shirts for Daniel and Maxwell so 
I have had this photo forever and didn't know what I wanted to use to scrap it, but it ended up when I was going through the Splendid Papers, I was like, oh my gosh, there's so many beautiful oranges. Sometimes you get collections that don't have very much orange because it's not a color lots of people like to use, but I love oranges and so, and I needed them for this layout. So that was perfect. And then I tied in the aqua from the picture and really every color is in that picture, but um, I thought that was super fun. And that's just circles that I cut and um, popped up on adhesive foam and have, those are shimmer, shimmers, I think in the background, shimmers and distress oxides in the background, sprays. All right, here is another one. So this is one of the first ones that I made with Sweet Rush, Vicki Booten's um, new collection. So this one is gorgeous and, um, this was for a design team challenge for June, I think. So um, the banner cut file, there were in the cut file, there's several different types of banners. And so I used the same one and just cut it uh, several, lots of times and um, hand stitched it on, backed it with the, the Sweet Rush paper. And then I love the stencil. Hopefully you can see the X's and O's on the background. So that is a stencil from the Sweet Rush collection and it is so, so much fun. I love X's and O's. I like to put them at the end of letters and cards and things that I write. So I thought that was super sweet. And I did the Distress Oxides. So there's Distress Oxide here, just blended down the page. Added some water droplets to pick up some of that color. And then I put the white texture paste over the Distress Oxides pretty quickly. And the reason I did that is because when the Distress Oxides are just a little bit wet still, they will pick up, if you put texture paste over it, they will lift the color. So it actually, it looks like I did some color on top of that white texture paste because it's pinks and oranges and yellows and greens, but I didn't. It just, the Distress Oxide comes up through that texture paste, which is really cool. All right, so this is the next one for Pear Tree. And it was also using um, Sweet Rush right yeah sweet rush and um i love this cup i also captured on camera i posted this not very long ago um and i cut the i backed the cut file um in orange and green and then the camera in lots of different colors and then i cut it again in another pattern here and um, distress the edges and then sewed that on just in the centers so those letters can pop up um, and it, I love how it looks. I don't know if you can see it from the side, but you can see all the texture and it gives the layout lots of dimension. I love that. And then embellishments from the Sweet Rush collection. Uh, and then these are lots of um, crystals from Buttons Gabor. And then this, I did pull letters. This is from, just the letter, the alphabet is from Splendid. This was my second layout for Fancy Pants Designs. And this is using the um, Bloom, Bloom and Grove, I think it's Bloom and Grove collection. And I love the patterned papers here and all the different colors in them. So I used Distress Oxides to kind of bring that color out and scrapbooked one of our photos when my sweet girl was just born. These are her newborn, um, newborn photos loved that collection for scrapping that. All right, this was another one I just posted not too long ago and have a process video for this one on my YouTube channel here on this channel. Um, and this was four pear tree cut files. So I added a lot of foiling to that. And then texture pastes. So these were all of the Vicki Booten texture pastes. I have all different, lots of different colors of that. And I layered that on top of Distress Oxides. And then the collection is Splendid. So this is all paper, pattern papers and embellishments from the Splendid collection. And I did not mention it when I was, when I made the video or when I posted it, but I did use lots of half pearls and crystals from Button Schooler on this one too. Love those half pearls. They're so pretty. And I have them in all the right colors, so it matches, they match perfectly with all those 
inks and texture pastes. All right, so this is a layout that I made just for fun using Suncatcher uh, from Heidi Swap. I love that collection and all of the beautiful things. I've made several layouts now with it and I absolutely adore it. And this was a pattern paper that I cut apart, distressed the edges, and then put it back down and used hand, different hand stitches, um, some chain stitching, some back stitch. Um, yeah, love that. And then distressed oxides in the background to match the pattern papers. I also just posted this one a few days ago. So that one, I love that you can see it. Hopefully on video, you can see all of that sparkle and shimmer. Uh, this was patterned papers and embellishments from Hip Kit, from the May Hip Kit Club kit. All right. This was one I also just recently posted for Pear Tree cut files. So this Go Travel um, cut file is fantastic. I love how it looks with all the different layers. And then I used the Echo Park Away We Go collection for this one. So the, for the pattern paper, the stencil is Away We Go. That's from that same collection. And lots of beautiful embellishments that you could find there. Fussy cut those and added them to the page. All right. So here I have a couple of... Um, there's some things I haven't posted yet. So these are from my Key West um, album. I'm going to put it together and I'll show you once it's all together, I'll do another video um, so you can kind of see how it flows through the book. But these are half pages that go in between all of these layouts. So imagine you have a layout and then another layout. So this will be in between a um, little half page. And I, again, usually don't post pocket pages because they're hard to see in photographs. But these are, this is how I incorporate um, when we do a vacation trip. Um, I journal each night and post it usually on my personal Facebook page and my personal Instagram. And then I go back later when I'm scrapping it and I print it out. So that's my journaling with, the, with all my from all of my pictures, and that's how I incorporate that into my into my scrapbook. So some of these, a lot of the layouts for the trip I did um, journal do just a little bit of journaling on, but this kind of gives you the overview of the whole day and all the things we did that day. So this is all using Sweet Rush, lots of fun little things there, and then pictures from the day. And I have another one. This will be between the next. So this is day five of the trip. Um, just got these beautiful sequin mixes from Buttons Galore. So they have like Seize the Day, I think is one of them. And I don't know the name of all of them, but they're beautiful. So I mixed three of them here. Something Starry Night, maybe. Um, and one of them, the ocean one has dolphins in it. And we actually went and saw dolphins on the trip. So that's why I incorporated that into there. And so to closed. This one was a super, this came together really quickly. Um, so this is using the acetate page from um, Splendid. And I just cut a piece of pattern paper from the collection um, in six by eight and did it front and back. So that'll be in the book, um, front and back. And then I did pages. I used lots of stamps from the collection and some embellishments enamel hearts and flowers and then did some journaling here used the date stamp that's found in the collection with my sweet photos of when we went snorkeling in Key West and then on the back I did some more photos of that same same excursion and this paper right here this one on the background is actually the um, the cardboard insert that came with the stencil so um, Vicki Booten's collections, when you get the stencils in the package, they always have really pretty um, background cardboard. So I actually used that for Leah, which I thought was kind of fun. So that will be in there. And then this was another layout I did for that Key West trip. And this was using HipKit. And I 
did lots of fussy cutting. So this was a big piece of patterned paper. There was more to it, of course, um, but I cut out the elements, the main elements with lots. <laughs> Spent lots and lots of time doing that um, very very carefully because the little there's some little teeny tiny pieces involved in that and I have it glued down just minimally so that those pieces still kind of move around um, and then on the background I used a um, stencil I think it's Kaiser Kaiser craft is what it's called um, and then I used Fawn Lawn um, one of their one of their texture pastes um, and that is turned out beautifully on the background. It's kind of very subtle and pretty and light, which I love. And then embellished with crystals um, from Buttons Galore and then enamel dots and all kinds of things from the Hip Kit Club. All right, last stack. We're almost there. Okay. So this is another um, pocket page insert that I have here. So that'll go in between some of the pages in my book. It's got my journaling from day three. And then um, I do like to, on my pocket pages, I do like to put some things in the pockets and then some things on top. So I don't know if you can tell here, but this is like a little chipboard frame. I just glued it on top of the pocket page and then have a pear tree piece right there on top. And then on the back side, See, I did the same thing. So some of the um, some of my embellishments that I used, I've got some of them like this chipboard piece is inside, and then I've got pieces on the outside. And I kind of like how that looks to give it layers and dimension. And then this is just ribbon that I glued on and then stapled <laughs> for good measure. Um, hopefully you can see that I've got some orange staples in there just to give it a little more detail. All right, this is a layout I made for pear tree using a pear tree cut file out of this world. And this is using the To The Moon collection from Bella Boulevard with, um, this is a Paige Evans stencil in the background, these stars with glimmer, uh, glimmer mist? No, glacier paste. Um, and I love how those stars, they shine and it looks like it's out of this world. So this was from a day when we went to NASA over spring break, we took my little boy, he loved, Maxwell loves, um, astronauts in space and all kinds of things so we took him to visit NASA he and Ruby and this was one of the some of the pictures from that I've got more to scrapbook on that for sure haven't gotten to it yet okay this is maybe a layout I made for fun um, this is another I think this is simple stories again simple stories Oh my gosh, summer days. I think it's summer days. My brain isn't working. I'm tired. Um, and then this was a sun, I think, from Pear Tree, from one of the cut files that I used just the sun, the center of, and then um, cut that out. That's white paper. You can see on the back. It's just white um, textured cardstock that I used distress oxides on. And then distress the edge of each ray. That's one piece. And then there's another patterned piece behind it, pattern paper behind it from the same, this, it's this pattern right here. And then I have, um, those are half pearls from Buttons Galore, I love those. Oh my gosh, love how they look on the page. And then on the background, I just made a, my own cloud mask and used distress oxide, laid the mask down and used distress oxides in several layers to add some clouds to the background. And this is Shimmer Mist or shimmers, not shimmer mist, it's shimmers, um, one of the sprays there. Super pretty. All right, this was a page that I made. Woo, it's a lot going on, <laughs> but it makes me smile. Um, so this was for Pear Tree Smiles for Miles. And on the background here, these are all acrylic paints. So that was another Friday Night Live Vicki Booten did um, with acrylic paints and it got me all intrigued by that. So that's just a dragging technique um, with the acrylic paint. And then um, I did lift some of it up with water while it was still wet. And then I have inks and stamps and stencils on top of it, the black here and there. 
and that is using the Sweet Rush collection again. So these are all these um, circles right here. I don't know if I said that when I posted it. These are all washi tape. So I used all of these are washi tape. So I just um, taped circles with washi with lots of layers of washi tape. And I have some fun, several different fun layers there. Um, and then cut those out. So it's a great way to use up some of that washi tape. This is another one, Heidi Swap Suncatcher Collection. Sun Chaser, I keep saying Sun Catcher, it's Sun Chaser, I think, collection. And that is beautiful. This was a patterned paper that I cut. So it actually had the strips, the stripes of color with the sun in the center. And I cut that out, cut the strips out, distressed the edges, and then put the strips back down you can see so that's where I cut the sun out of it and then I added gesso and um, distress oxides on top of the gesso there just to kind of give the sun a hazy look coming like it's coming out of the water um, I love those photos that's for our Key West trip this is another these fruits here are also from another piece of pattern paper all of them all right Ooh, so fun. Um, so this was a layout I made for Pear Tree, so the Vacay Vibes. So the challenge um, was to use two cut files. So I used flowers from one cut file, these white little flowers that I backed in several different um, pattern papers. And then uh, only glued them down in the middle so that they kind of sit up a little bit, give you some more texture there. And then this uh, cut file I covered with the metallic texture paste from the um, Sweet Rush collection. So if you bought those uh, texture pastes, they're so pretty. Just even putting them on flat, I kind of tried to give it a little bit of texture. Hopefully you can see it there, it's shiny, real pretty. And then on the background, this is one of the stencils from the Sweet Rush collection, these hearts. Uh, so there were several different, I think I had three different sets of stencils with this collection. So there were two that came just regularly with the Sweet Rush collection, and then there was a, an exclusive to scrapbook.com. So I don't know which one this is, but it's one of the stencils from that collection. Love those. There's a pattern paper that matches it in the collection. And then I put Distress Oxides. So I did the texture paste first, I think, yes. And then I did texture um, distress oxides on top of it using some sprays and some just the ink. Actually, I actually think I dragged the ink on top of it and used water. And then down here I used the stamps from the collection um, and then added flowers and lots of crystals. You can see I love to do that in the center as well, but we'll have to do those. All those crystals. And then I went back and added um, a little bit of stickles, some of that glitter glue in between some of the crystals. So that looks really cool in person. I hopefully you can see it um, on camera, but it's real pretty and shiny. And there's also half pearls on there. All right. Ooh, this is a fun one. So this was a page I made for Erica Rose Creates for one of her classes, um, Erica Thompson's classes. So she, um, asked me to be a contributor for one of her monthly crops that she does. So I got to create my own challenge. So my challenge for this one was to create a layout using the same element in both patterned paper and mixed media. So I cut circles um, out of patterned paper and then I added circles with stamps and stencils um, and different things, stencils over here. This is a big, this is a Vicki Booten stencil back here from a past collection um, where the circles are larger and get smaller. Um, and then lots of different stamps over here. And then I added the sequins that I stitched through the circles. And then the crystals are in the shape of a circle. <laughs> so there's lots of different things, lots of different elements on there that are, that are circles. And I love that. This is also from Key West. It's going to be a great album. Can't wait. Oh my gosh. I love this page. This is one of my favorite pages I've ever made. Um, so this is, this was for Pear Tree Cut Files, 
and this cut file was a stitching cut file. So um, you can kind of see on the back, even the back is pretty. <laughs> um, so it's just the holes. When you cut the cut file, you just get all the little teeny tiny holes. Um, so I just did that kind of there. And then, um, and when you use Cricut, you can't do it all the way to the edge. How did I do that? I'm trying to remember. Um, I think what I did is I cut it as far as it would let me go and then I just built, finished the holes. Like I just kind of finished the edges there so that those holes went all the way to the edge. Hopefully you can not hear the fireworks. There are fireworks in the background that just started. Lovely. Um, hopefully that didn't wake up my babies. All right, and so this collection, um, it's Echo Park. trying to remember the name of the collection it is not coming to me but I have posted it on Instagram um, and my Facebook page so you should be able to find it if you want to know very pretty and those clouds I just cut them and those are covered in um, glimmer mist and then behind the behind each layer I did um, distress oxide all right, this was a page I made for Bella Boulevard earlier in the year. I actually cut, this one you can't really see. So I actually cut the hearts out of the foundations paper. So this is a piece of foundations paper. I cut the hearts out and then I put the paper behind the hearts. So um, I love how that kind of gives it a little bit different dimension. And then I used hand stitching around the edges and um, little dots of glitter, chain stitch. All different kinds of things there and then these are um, stickers from the collection and embellishments love those this is you are my sunshine collection from Bella Boulevard all right this was a page I made for a pear tree and this was using so I took a cut file that Marie made that says happy days and I cut it so it was just a circle cut file. And so I put it um, in the, using the Cricut software, I put it down and then I cut it like concentric circles. So very small in the center, getting larger as I went out. And I did it three, um, I did it on one, it was one cut. So um, I did put the cut file and then laid them on top of each other, top of each other, top of each other, big here and then under here. I have that stapled so you can't really see it, but I did it here and then here again. So I um, used Hip Kit Club, club um, kits for the embellishments and the pattern paper. And this was, this will be probably the first layout in my Key West book. And then the, um, this is Lindy's Magicals. So the, the ink here, so that, that comes in a powder and you put the powder, like kind of sprinkle the powder on and then put water and it activates and gives you these beautiful colors. Um, I absolutely love those. So that's what this, that's what I used on that. There's another little half page for my journaling for day one of our trip. So these are actually just pocket pages. What I do is I get a full pocket page, like their whole, um, these are Becky Higgins pocket page, Project Life pocket pages. So they are 12 by, they come 12 by 12 and I just cut them down to the size I want. You can kind of see there. Um, so I just trim, trim off what I don't want to use because I like them to be little half pages in the center um, in my books. So that's how I get those. I did some ribbon, stapled that down. And I have my journaling for day one here. Got there kind of late in the day. And then some of my pictures from our first meal there. All right. This was another layout for a pear tree. Um, go here, go there. It's got a compass on the cut file itself. And this was using um, Echo Park again. Pattern paper and embellishments. And this was when we were at the southernmost point. 90 miles from Cuba. All right, there's another little insert page for the Key West trip. So this is my day two journaling. And I'm using that same so it matches with all of those. That'll match, go together in the book very nicely. Got a bunch of pictures. 
publishers. I got to meet Judy Bloom. So these Books and Books um, Studios, so that's her, that's Judy Bloom's bookstore in Key West. And we did not meet her on this day, but I do have um, somewhere, I subscribe to that, um, when we did meet her. That was super fun. All right. This layout I made just for fun. So this is using, I used a pattern paper on the background again. This is Paintbrush, um, Paintbrush Studios pattern paper and embellishments. And um, I actually I think I got those out of a hip kit, to be sure. Um, so I used pattern paper on the background, put gesso down, um, and added the Distress Oxide sprays, some sprays, and then some shimmer sprays. You can kind of see it's hopefully you can see that it's a little bit shiny on the background. And then Fussy cut some of these tags out, distressed the edges, added some thread and some frames. And this matches, let's see if I can get it real quick. So this element, I try to put some matching elements in there. So this is from day three of our trip. And so um, this thread here, this ribbon that I used on the edge here, I also used on the, on the scrapbook page. All right, you'll be able to see that when I put it together. Oh, I love this one. So this is um, the one that I made just for fun. So this was, these were all flowers from a Paige Evans paper which collection that was from. I've had it a long time. Um, but it was a piece of white paper and it had um, cut files. It was like they were cut, but it was like half cut. So you could just bend up. She, she has had those in several of her collections, I think, where you just bend up the pieces. She's got cut files that you can um, download where it just cuts them out partially. So I didn't really want to use it that way. So I ended up cutting the flowers out and then added um, distress oxides um, to the top of those to put in on this page. So I cut them out and then I embellished, added a few. Um, these are Sunkissed uh, sun -kissed from Coco Vanilla, I think, flowers. So I added that to it. And then on the background I have, that is um, Distress Oxides, I think. And then I have Glimmer Mist on top of it. I have several different layers, lots of different colors, it looks like, of uh, Distress Oxide sprays and inks. And then up here I used several different things, <laughs> some stencils maybe. Um, I think this was a stencil that I made myself. And then I used some stencils, I can see there faintly, that I had. And then I added sequins, lots of crystals. From buttons for added and then this is from I think color cast color cast designs so pretty love summer that's what it says all right and the last one I'll share today I don't think I posted I'm pretty sure I didn't post this one um, so this is a layout uh, that I made just for fun and it's Echo Park I think some different pattern papers from Echo Park that I cut just in strips and distressed and then added some ribbon in and have some, these are Tim Holtz rub-ons and distressed ink on the backgrounds. So lots of different, lots of different things there. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed the layouts. So again, 68 layouts for so far in 2022. I do have a whole pretty good size stack that I couldn't share today because I haven't posted them yet. So they're for different companies or different projects or um, classes that I contributed to um, that I can't share those layouts unless you're in the class, those kinds of things. So I do have some others that I didn't get to share with you, but hopefully you got to see a pretty good amount of layouts and maybe got a few ideas here and there. And I hope you have an awesome day. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.